I'm going to show you how to do a really rough wing shape here in the hope that everybody else can be able to do it as well. As you can see down here, I've got AutoCAD loaded up and SOLIDWORKS also loaded up. Now, AutoCAD, I don't really use that much. I use AutoCAD mainly for my listing of parts. I also use it for any minor um, bit I need to edit. You know, say for instance that bit there, it's 4.73, it should really be 5. I know it's not really much, and I know the bolts will be squashed, but it's something I look at. Okay, my main program for design work is actually SOLIDWORKS. It's a lot easier to use than any other uh, software out there. So, what I actually got is you've got your front plane, your top plane, and your right plane. So, to do a wing, we always start on the top plane, or I always start on the top plane. Please notice now that you've got this. That is to ground the part on the correct plane. So, grab a line and make sure that shows up. So, we're going to do a really, really, really rough wing here. So, this will give me my idea on size. You can type in manually. As I said, extremely rough. Like so. What I tend to do in my first drawing as well is I would detail out my aileron. Something like that. That's only for a reference. It gives me a damn good idea on where I want things to position. Obviously, you can go into there, you can dimension it out, say a 100. You can actually make it exactly as you want. I will show you in a later video how to trace a 3 view. It's relatively easy to do, um, and it does make things a little bit quicker. So once I've drawn that on the top line, I will then exit out the sketch. I use the top right-hand bit. Now... What I'm going to do now is, on my right plane, I need to start drawing an airfoil. So, again, right click, sketch. I'll first of all convert that entity there. The reason for that is I'm going to draw a very easy aerobatic airfoil. Now, I will now click on that, which is my view button. You can view an isometric, your top view, side views. Or you can spin the entire model around by using the back ones. In most cases, what I use is looking directly on the part. So I will now draw spurious line. I will now draw my extremely beautiful airfoil. Like so. I've just used something called a spline tool to be able to do that. You can actually draw it in as many points as you like uh, to be able to get the shape right. The spline is just a nice linear uh, line and it will keep all the points together. So I now select that and because I've drawn it on the top line, I will now mirror it down below, which will get me my first error fall shape. I tend to then be able to, I tend to then delete my centre plane. The reason for that is when I loft between two ribs next, it sometimes can cause a problem. Exit that. So, I need to do exactly the same now, but up this end. So what I need to do is click on the right plane. The right plane might show up there. So what I need to do is reference a plane. So you go reference plane and click the point. And I'll use the right click on my mouse. Now. You need to sketch on that plane, so right click on the plane, sketch. Again, I will then convert that entity and spin the drawing right round so I can see it there. I'll draw this lovely airfoil again. There we go. Again, mirrored below like so, and then delete that out. Notice when I was drawing that, what I was also doing is I was making sure that my points of the splines actually line up. It always goes orange at the ends. Right. Now, there's two ways of doing this. I'll show you the easy way first. If you go into Features, 
then the loft boss base select one profile and select the other profile now what's happened here is can you see that line between the two green parts it's selected the wrong part to start off from so what you gotta do is click the line drag it and now there you go you have now an airfall click down nice and simple done what i tend to do next and i know people look at me and go well what have you done that for it's just the way i've learned and i find it easy for me on the top plane again i will now do another sketch and where i drew the outline earlier i will now convert these two entities now i'll grab it offset that in this let's say 10 mil normally i would do it only by about 0 0.1 of a millimeter but i'm trying to show you as easy and as quickly as possible the reason i do that will come apparent in two seconds what i'm doing now is i'm closing the sketch off so basically i've made a nice big box on it like so now what i'm going to do now is obviously that was my other one and that's my wing I want to break the two apart so i'll go extrude cut notice gone green in the middle now i want to go through all and in direction to also through all because i drew it on the top plane click select all bodies done so now what that's done now is give me two completely separate parts to which i can turn off over here so what this means, I don't need the air one. So I'll turn it off. Now, this is actually a solid wing at the minute. So what I need to do is hollow that out. So I use the shell tool. This now will give me my balsa wood thickness on the outside. Standard's 2.4 mil. So I will select that one edge there. Rotate. That edge there. And that edge there. Now, your normal rear spar is normally thicker it could be five mil could be six mil could be ply i'm going to say it's five mil for now but i will select that back edge there to be five mil thick click tick and what that's done now is it shelled the wing out notice that it's thicker in one place than the other yep so back up to the top of the shop back on my top plane <coughs> <coughs> excuse me now what you need to do is you want to know where your ribs are going to fit so on the top plane now i'm going to do a sketch i know this isn't exactly right where i'm going to put the ribs but notice that i'm not breaking the lines up into sections like so so once you've got that right and you've got your wings exactly where you want them and all your ribs are sorted exit that sketch now go into mold tools and click split line notice gone purple pink even which tells you that the sketch is now active so because i've now set the balsa wood thickness on the outside i'm going to tell it where to split line it which is on the inside like so click tick and now you'll notice inside there you have these points all the way down now if you now go into surfaces and click plane our surfaces you can now add these plane lines all the way down the ribs like so there's one again i'll do the same for the next and I'll do one more three so that now gives me three ribs in the wings you can now turn off that split line leaving you these which are internal rib shapes 
these are actually zero thickness they're just there so what you need to do now is you need to start thickening up so this would be your wood thicknesses there's three ways of doing it you can thicken it to the left thicken it to the right or thicken it center i always tend to thicken it on the center so i'm going for 2.4 mm balsa so once you've got that tick thicken again tick and i'll thicken that one again like so for the ends of the wings I don't know if I do this right or not, I'm unsure, but it works for me. I will click on that, the actual outside, which is 2.4, click Sketch, Select, Convert, Select, Convert. Now all I will do now, extrude it that way, so it goes inside the wings. Now it's the hours point inside. Now one of the things to do now take off that merge results unless you take off merge results it will make it all as one and click tick same again for this side sketch convert convert and convert again extrude inside take off merge results Now what I can do now, that split line, I'm going to hide, and that then gives me all of the ribs now for the wings, like so. So the next thing you normally detail is the main spot. I'll do this really simply. Notice now I've selected the mid plane, so I'm going to do like a comb shape here. But yeah, like that. Features, extrude cut. And then just now I click through all and tick. Like so. And there is a very simple and easy wing shape with the cutouts in for the main spar. You can go deeper into it, but this is a really quick video, just a an idea on how to use the 3D program. There is another way of being able to do this and i'll show you very very quickly start a new drawing and what i'm going to do now there was a boy plane which was on youtube not youtube facebook um about a week ago and it actually looked like the batman it was really cool um so i'm going to draw its wings because i know there was a comment somewhere on there that how the hell did he manage to do that aeroform in SolidWorks or most 3D program, it's actually quite simple to do. So, again, that's my wing sketch. Draw my spline. Notice the dot I said. Excuse me, taking a while on this one. I'm hoping you can see all of this, what I'm doing. Okay, so I've drawn or drawing the area falls again exactly the same way as I've just done. Click. Convert. I always suggest using the um, the extrude boss base. It makes things a lot quicker. Okay, so the top on the top sketch of the biplane, it had a radius on the back and a radius on the front. So all I'll do now is go to the three D sketch. Look down from it from the top again. Now this is for a different way of doing it. I'm not suggesting do this straight away. Okay. 
I know that's not quite the right shape, but this is just a good idea on how to do it. Now, instead of going into the loft boss base, it was a surface loft I used, which is that. So now you click on that sketch there, and that sketch there. Again, same points, except this time I'm going to use guidance points. I'm going to use that as one, and I'm also going to use that as one, and click tick. And there you go. You now have that really ugly shaped wing. I can thicken it again in one direction. Or maybe not. Nope. Because I haven't gone through the rest of the process. But that then gives you a good idea on how to draw a wing in SolidWorks. If you have any questions, obviously drop me an email. I'd be quite happy to help. Um, if anybody wants to see anything more detail, let me know. Um, again, I'll try and go through it as best as I can. A few slides are a little bit more complex. It would take a little bit longer for me to do. Um, but I thought I'd give you a better understanding on how to actually work something in SolidWorks so you get something what looks, well, like a plane, to be honest. Like that. So all we've done today is basically the wing. The only difference between what I've done and what you can do is that I've added then all of these points along here where I had a lot of time and a lot of patience to be able to do it. I think the wings alone, if I open that drawing up there quickly, all of these points down here, all of that, all the loft, split lines, surface planes, thickening the ribs, all the cuts, yeah, yeah that's, that takes a lot of time to do, but, you know, given a couple of hours, most of it can be achieved. Anyway, anybody has any help or would like any help, drop me a mail. I'll do my best to help you. Thank you.